welcome to today's video. Today I am going to do a tutorial on how to do a everyday brow. These are my eyebrows for today's look that I'm going to show you how to do them. This is how I do them every single day. Um, I use the same technique but I use different products sometimes which I explain more in the tutorial. A couple people requested actually to know how to do brows. This is just what I do. I'm sure everyone's technique is a little different, so do whatever works for you. You can always just use this as a guideline. So if you want to learn how to get brows like mine, then just keep watching. I also forgot to mention that I just filmed a tutorial on this look. It should be my next video, so if you want to see how to get this look, then stay tuned for that. All right guys, so as you can see, these are my natural bare brows really nothing special I've always kind of hated my brows just because they're so flat I have next to no arch so I've always you know like I would always look in the mirror when I was little and do this ever so slightly because that's the kind of eyebrow shape I want but so my eyebrows are always the first step in my routine that's just how I like to do things I like to apply everything else after my brows the brows are always my base so the products I use for my brows are uh, all by Anastasia Beverly Hills they are my favorite brow products always they always have been probably always will be so for a natural everyday brow I use the Anastasia brow Wiz. I use the shade soft brown and it's just kind of a tiny micro brow pencil I'm sure that you've seen this product before. So it's just a tiny micro brow pencil and it really allows you to kind of create hair-like strokes. It comes with a spoolie on the other hand, which is really handy. Um, I find that this is very user-friendly and if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend something like this. Also, I completely understand if you can't afford Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think this retails for like $23 or something like that. Um, NYX also has a very good one. It's not as good as this, but it is a similar product. I also find the NYX one doesn't have the same colors as the Anastasia one, obviously because they're different products, but um, like the colors aren't as good. Like Anastasia got the colors bang on for their products, whereas NYX, it might be a little harder to find your perfect match. I just realized that I've been talking for like five minutes now and you can't even see my whole face. So the um, other product that I really like for Instagram because I do bolder looks on Instagram so I like to complement it with a bolder brow. Uh, that's just the way that I like to do things. I find that the brows are kind of framing the face. So for that I use the Anastasia brow what is this even? Dip brow. Uh, it's a pomade. I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. It's my cat's playing under the couch right now. That's what that sound was. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. Um, it's kind of a difficult product to work with at first. It's very bold, like a little bit goes a very long way. And then you have to also buy a brush to go with it. I personally use the Sigma E75 Angled Brow. I'm pretty sure NYX has, also has a dupe for this if you're looking to try a pomade but don't want to spend all the money. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's um just you know, a pomade. And this lasts forever. That's why I initially purchased it because I thought to myself, wow, that's probably really gonna last a long time and since I'm a student. You know, like I like my products to last a while. I don't wanna have to repurchase things every month. That one is a bit hard to work with just because it is so pigmented. If you make a mistake, it's a little bit harder to cover it up, but it's still a great product if that's kind of the look you're going for. Okay, so now I'll zoom you guys back in and we can start. I think I'm gonna do this brow. Uh, this brow is a little bit harder for me to do. I think everyone has that like, I have an eye that my eyeshadow just looks better on and I have a brow that is just easier to do and this is my better brow. This brow slays most of the time and this one's the ugly stepsister. Um, so I'm gonna do this one just because I feel like that's better for tutorial purposes to do the one that's a little bit more difficult. If that makes sense. I don't know if it does. Okay, so we are all zoomed in and today I'm not doing like a look for Instagram or anything. I'm just going to a friend's house. So I'm just gonna, you know, do more of an everyday brow, which I thought more people would want to see anyways because, you know, not everyone does really bold makeup looks regularly. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do, I always do my brows with them raised. That's just, I don't know, I think it's easier to see the bottom part when I do that. And I kind of tilt my head back and then I just, wow, that's hard to talk and do. I draw a line, an angled line just 
to where the arch will be. And if you are a beginner, what I used to do is do the trick where the front of your brow should line up with the side of your nose. Your arch should go pat through your um, pupil. And I used to kind of mark it, so this would be where I want my arch. And then line it up from your nose to the outer side of your eye, and you can mark that's where you want the end of your brow to be. Once you start doing it a couple more times, you kind of get the hang of it and don't need to make those marks, but um, it is very useful and something that I did for a really long time. So I made the little mark here as to where I want my arch to be. Oh, that was a little high, whatever. Um, so I just draw a diagonal line following my natural uh, brow shape but making sure the line is still straight and then once I hit my arch I'm gonna follow my natural brow shape down to where we made that little mark for where we want our brow to end oh that looks crazy so then I move to the top I like to make my outline first that's just the way I like to do things I always see how my brows are the thickest here that's the line I follow. I follow the line of where my brows are the thickest. So since they're the thickest here, oops, that's another thing about brow is it's really nice, it's really easy to just kind of wipe away if you make a mistake. And then I'm just going to go in a little bit. And that's the line I'm going to follow. So then again, I start from the inner portion and just kind of in short strokes, make that line to where we want the arch to be. Okay, so then once we hit the line where we want our arch to be, I'm just going to round out the brow and just draw, round out the arch and then draw a line to the end of the brow where the uh, bottom line ends. So now that we have our outline, I just like to fill them in using small hair-like strokes. You don't want to just like color them in because that's not a very natural look. And then you might just look crazy. I mean, I guess we're not really going for like supernatural anyways, but... So I just kind of fill them in and I go along the length of the brow just doing this. After I've gone the length of the brow just filling them in with short hair like strokes, I just take the spoolie to kind of blend it out a little bit and I just run it through the brow. Next, what I do is I comb where my arch is, I comb the hairs down just to make sure that there's an even application of product. Sometimes the hairs can kind of get in the way of your product placement, so I like to make sure that everything is even. And then just brush them back into place. And I kind of do the same for the front. See how there's um, no, see how there's no product when you brush it down? That's not great because if your brows ever move throughout the day i'm gonna set it with brow gel so they don't but i just like it to be consistent if that makes sense and then after i move all the brows around and fill them in again i just brush them through then for the front of the brow what i do is i take a very light hand much lighter than when i filled in the brow and i just kind of do the same hair like strokes and just lightly fill in the front. Then you could just leave them like this, but I personally like a bit of a sharper look. So I take a bit of foundation. This is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Um, I didn't really have any other use for this, so I just use it for brows. I like to use a foundation instead of a concealer because it's a little thinner and that makes it easier to manipulate with your brush. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hand and I take I'm currently using the Sigma Short Shader E20. Sometimes I take a Morphe flat shader brush. It doesn't really matter. This is just the one that I have dirty right now, so I'm going to use that one. And I pick a little bit of the product up on the brush and I just follow the lines that I made. I just sharpen them up and then I also clean up any mistakes that I've made. So that's what it looks like. And then I kind of bring the foundation down just to blend it out so it's not like a super stark line because that's not cute. And that's really the trick for getting really sharp brows. Um, it doesn't seem like a very important step, but it really, really is if you want something sharper. And then I just do the same thing, but on the upper line of my brow.
and my arch before was a little bit high for my personal taste so I just um, kind of you know smoothed it out with the concealer you can clean up mistakes it just it's a really good trick to do I used to skip it but I personally wouldn't recommend doing that and then I do the same thing at the front of the brow but I don't pick up any more product I just kind of use whatever's remaining on the brush because I don't like a super harsh line on the inner corner of my brow. And I just kind of pat it just to kind of blend it in. And then to set it all in place, I have super crazy brow hairs that like to move around um, and I don't like that. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just set them. Honestly, I usually do this after my makeup routine just to kind of comb through them one last time, but just for demonstrational purposes, I'll do it now. And this stuff is like super glue. Um, you can use any other type that you may like. Um, and then I just go through my brows one more time, just so they're not all crunchy and stuff just with a regular spoolie. And that's it for this brow tutorial. Let me know if you want me to do more basic tutorials like um, brows, how to properly apply foundation, how to do winged liner, stuff like that. I always just kind of assume that people know how to do that, which is wrong because, you know, not everyone is that experienced with makeup. So if you want me to do more basic tutorials like that, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below or something, message me on Instagram, whatever. And let me know what you want to see because um, I'm always kind of stumped as to what people want to see and what I should film. So please let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye!